Uh, well, we're here for the, the Blu-ray and DVD release. Uh, what can we expect on the extras? Well, you've got, uh, you've got four deleted scenes from the movie. They're short, but um, I think interesting scenes that kind of fill in uh, questions maybe people had um, about the movie, so I'm excited for people to see that. We've got uh, five documentaries about the making of the film, just going into extra detail about what it takes to make a movie like this. Right. Um, Tom and I did a commentary track, uh, which people can listen to and just hear kind of the, stu the kind of issues we were discussing while making the movie. And then we've got a score-only version of the movie where you can watch the movie and just listen to the score and surround. And like going back to you know the beginning, um, so when did you write the script for this movie? Because it must have been like a long time ago, right? Yeah, well it started as a basically like a short story or a treatment in 2005. So uh, that was eight years ago. Um, and it took that long to kind of get it made and get yeah. to the big screen. And um, so how did you guys get the ball rolling for, for you know, like making this into a movie? Because it wasn't really supposed to be a movie up until what happened. Well, I always wanted it to be a film. I never expected it to be a film of this scale. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, I always wanted it to be a movie. Um, I developed it as a graphic novel, basically as a way to kind of explore the world visually, uh, a way to also to sell it to the studio, because this is definitely a movie where you need to show them as much as tell them. Mm -hmm. um, so that was an important part of the process. Uh, obviously getting Tom on board was a huge part of the process and I uh, feel very lucky uh, to have him uh, in the movie. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of steps. I mean, it was eight years. Uh, there's a lot of hurdles. Um, but uh, you know, the, the key to this business is to kind of just to kind of constantly keep pushing mm -hmm. forward, pushing your idea forward, mm -hmm. not taking no for an answer. And speaking about uh, Tom Cruise, he was the one who approached you and not the other way around, right? Initially, yes. He got a copy of the uh, a kind of a preview we did of the graphic novel. Um, certainly, he was always at the top of my list of people to be in this movie, but it was a, it was a huge surprise to have him contact yeah. me first, for like, sure. What a coincidence, right? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like the kind of guy, um, he likes to do his own stunts. Was there like ever like anything borderline scary that happened that you thought like, oh my gosh, this is this is. Well, you'll s I think you see some of that on the Blu-ray. Um, okay. You'll definitely see the fact that, you know, Tom's really putting himself kind of in harm's way with some of these stunts, but mm -hmm. that's the only way he would have it. He yeah. He's willing to do it and he knows that, you know, he can deliver an experience to the audience because he's willing to do it himself. Right. Um, so you'll see some scary stuff on the Blu-ray for sure. <laughs> and how is the experience uh, watching a movie at home as opposed to um, like watching it in a the theater? Well, you know, I'm really proud of the fact the, the, the quality of this Blu-ray, the quality of the imagery, the quality of the soundtrack. Um, I think if you have a nice setup at home, um, you can recreate a pretty amazing experience in your living room. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, great. Well, they gave me the wrap. Very okay. nice meeting you. Nice to meet you.